All right, guys. Welcome back to my Alan Wake walkthrough. This is going to be the next part, which is, I believe, part nine. Now, in the last part, um, basically, he had to reach the train depot, get a vehicle, and meet the kidnapper at the coal mine. But unfortunately, um, kidnapper did not keep his word and um, basically he is now traveling in the night again and um, of course um, finding the Taken but uh, yeah uh, before I do anything let me see my statistics real quick oh Um, but yeah, sorry for being quiet. I'm just trying to think, uh, what... Just trying to see what I... <gasps> oh, shit! Where the fuck were you? I probably touched something. Wait. Uh, how many manuscripts? Manuscript page. Alright, so... Sorry about that, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. <gasps> oh, shit! Okay, it's on the ground! I hate when they're on the ground, you can't... There should be another collectible somewhere. I'm not gonna run just in case. Oh, there it is. Wait, there's a man. Wake and Barry in cell. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all Amazing. here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What? Agent Nightingale's fucking nuts. Oh, shit. I don't want to do that. Shit! Hey, here's another... 
chest. There we go. Oh shit, here they come. Thunder and lightning, let's freaking go. Wait. Here's the next co oh coffee thermos. Make sure you don't fall. Go. So if I keep on looking away, I'm just looking at my guide. I'm just looking at my guide for the um I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Uh, um... But yes, after I play Alan Wake, I don't know what I'm going to play. I might play another... Um, I think I was going to play The Last of Us Part 2, but now I'm questioning that because there's, there's been a lot of negative feedback on... Certain feedback... Um, certain feedback towards The Last of Us Part 2. I forgot how to run. Okay, no, I am going right way. Where's the safe haven?
that's not good. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Possibly do. Checkpoint. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Well, that sounds good. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero okay. in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Well, that's not good. Great Pete George. Uh, I'm gonna read this to get pause the video. Alright, so it's basically talking about Great Pete George. Very interesting. Talk about the 20s. Late 20s. Coffee thermos, there we go.
Cheers, let's go. Another achievement, let's go. Alright. That was a little bit of a cheeky point. Now, if you're playing this game, make sure you understand how to play. Um. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. His girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. About growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. It's not good. As much as I want to shooting my fall, no. Yeah, this story is really interesting. Um, it's been a while since I played Alan Wake. Like I said, I played this on the Xbox 360 years ago. And I think I beat the game without getting the collectibles. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. He was telling me to hurry up. There it is. I wonder why the kidnapper wants the manuscript. <gasps> Plagiarism at its finest. Uh, that, like, maybe the kidnapper does want to take, like, Get like his paint. Yeah, maybe the kidnapper wants to take the credit to himself. I don't know.
Okay, I'm gonna be cautious in this cave cut. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. That's not good. Get there. Is it like, nope? Nightingale. Hidden behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Okay, so that's next manuscript page.
it. Here we go. Thermos. Yo, we got the cop. The next. There's a lot of these. Let me get to the next checkpoint and then I'll end this part here. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Well. Let me just get out of here first. But yeah, I don't know what other game to play after this. I can mean I can buy Last of Us Part 2 or play um I wanted to play until dawn, but until dawn I feel like is gonna be I almost fell off there. Doing this way? Oh yes, I'm trying to get my sister back on track with her YouTube channel, but she doesn't wanna. I don't know why. Maybe she's trying to focus on life right now. stop here for now uh because i think i played a little bit long enough i want to play a little bit longer but i have to do something right now but uh yeah stay tuned for the next part of alan wake um i think i got what i need to get through today but stay tuned next part if you like this part please leave a like comment down below and if you want subscribe to my channel watch all amazing game content this has been lee's gaming peace out